I'm here with Matt Springler, and Matt is our subject matter expert on um, EMC and electromagnetic interference. And so I wanted to just bring Matt in and ask a couple of questions, because he's smarter than I am about this. Um, Matt, tell us a little bit about the chamber and what it can do. All right, Jim. Uh, so this is a uh, three meter semi-anechoic room. We call it a, the official title is a room, not a, not a chamber. Uh -huh. um, and good, good to note there, yeah. <laughs> That's all right, <laughs> it's, you're good. Um, so it's a, a three meter uh, semi-anechoic room. Anechoic means without echo. And the reason we call it a semi-anechoic room is because there is one surface inside of the chamber that does have reflection, that is the floor. Okay. Uh, Semi-anechoic chamber is what's typically required in the testing that we do, not a fully anechoic chamber. Okay, okay. And who makes this, this chamber? This chamber was uh, manufactured by Panashield. Okay, Panashield, okay. Yeah. All right, and was there anything special about the construction that we had to do to make this chamber more effective? Right. Uh, so the, the intent of this, you can see that the, the side walls are all steel. So that gives us a very good uh, shield, if you will, from uh, EMI that will be outside, you know, anywhere in this, in this uh, laboratory. One thing that we did before we built this building was we put a steel grid six feet underground under most of this area right here and there's a very heavy cable that comes up from there and this chamber is uh, grounded basically to that uh, grid. All right, grounded. so before we even built the building, we put a grid in the floor and we anticipated where we we're gonna put this and then earth ground to the chamber. Um, what about power lines? Power lines, so we've got um, several different types of power that comes in. So we've got AC power, which goes to some of the AC outlets inside the chamber so that we can plug in um, auxiliary equipment, uh, some of our line impedance stabilization networks uh, are made for high current and so the components inside can get fairly warm and so they have blowers built into them to keep them cool. Uh, all of that power that comes in for that type of equipment has to be filtered and so we've got three large uh, filters on the side of the chamber over here to filter all that power. Uh, each light fixture, there's five light fixtures in here, each light fixture also has a uh, filter on it. So, so basically everything that penetrates this shield has to be filtered. Okay, and that's a bandpass filter, isn't it? It's just a very narrow bandpass filter. It's um, actually, it's, it's a low pass filter, low pass, okay. uh, and it will pass like anything below uh, a few hundred hertz, okay. and everything above that is... Okay. is what is the E-field effectiveness of this particular chamber? Uh, this chamber is about 100 decibels uh, of shielding. Okay, so, so it's a negative 100 dB. Correct, so we can, if we, if we measure a signal outside the chamber and then go inside, we'll see that that signal has been reduced by 100 decibels. All right.